photographic evidence suggests there is something else going on as well. If you look at pictures of the pool deck after the collapse, you can see that in some places it looks as though the columns have punched up through the slab, and this is called punching shear. Punching shear happens when a concentrated load is applied by the columns to a small area of the slab above. Engineers avoid it by placing a beam at the top of the column to spread the load, and the Surfside plans use this technique. So why don't they work? The beams that are supposed to be there to support the pool deck, based on the original drawings, were not there in the construction. The pool deck that triggers the disaster has flaws, both in construction and in its use and maintenance. But what is the trigger that brings the towers down? All the evidence suggests the failure of the pool deck is the first step in the collapse of the Champlain Towers. So it seems that the pool deck collapses first. And after that point, what are our options for things that could bring this tower down? Is it that the collapse of the pool deck has knocked some of the columns at the lower level and destabilized them? Is it that the collapse of the pool deck pulls the building slightly to the side and that destabilizes the overall structural system for the building? At this point, we just don't know. Whatever the precise chain of events, the failure of the pool deck brings down the central and eastern towers in seconds. But if a key weakness of the deck is the long-term degradation and saltwater damage, why isn't it spotted before the disaster?